Hey, what is up? This is me, the ITK HQ, and today we'll be taking a look at iOS 10 Beta 3. So, there are some new features in iOS 10 Beta 3, so let's jump straight right into it. So, the very first feature I'm going to talk to you guys about is going to be the new keyboard click sound. So, it's exactly the same as the one we got with the Beta 1. In Beta 2, they sort of went back to the older keyboard sound, but now we actually get the new one back. So, if you go to setting, I'm just going to go over to set this right here so it's just a tad bit different and that's that uh, well next if you go down over to settings and if you go to accessibility so let me just go over to general accessibilities and if you just go down just a tad bit let me just see where is it where is it where is it home button right here you will see we have the rest finger to open and this actually features now work uh, a lot better so it actually works uh, reliably as well now so if I just close my iPhone and open it back up I just need to rest my finger on the touch ID and it's going to unlock my device next you can also now opt into the share activity uh, well you can opt into to share the activity data with Apple as well so it's going to get this prompt when you open the activity app uh, the very first time Next, if you go down over to settings and you go back to Siri, so let me go over to Siri right here, uh, you actually get this new um, option right here of Siri support. So if you go to Siri support, over here you can actually have all the apps that you can use with Siri and it's going to send the information um, like your contacts and other data to Apple to process your requests. So that's a new section right here under Siri. Next, if you go down over to health, so if I go to Apple and I go down over to health, you will see we have uh, the videos again, but we have this sort of a tagline as well right underneath the new videos in the activity section. Next, if you are on, well, your lock screen, or not in your lock screen, but let's see if I'm in my lock screen right now, I go to my uh, notification center, uh, you will see that now actually I get this dismiss option here as well so I just need to swipe down and it's going to dismiss any notifications so see just like that and it's gone so we have this new dismiss option as well also now if you sort of go to messages and you are trying to sort of pick an image from here now it no longer sort of crops your image to uh, that square kind of the option so it doesn't go and sort of crop it to scale so it retains its aspect ratio now so uh, that's that so it's still rectangular as you guys can see so it sort of retains the aspect ratio of the images doesn't crop it to the square it's a lot more easier now to discern images also if you go and 3d touch any app as you guys can see any third party app you have this new option right here which says share pages so before it was just share but now you have the share pages with the app name as well also if you now lock your device manually you get this taptic feedback just like you would get when you sort of 3d touch uh, your iPhone or whatever so you have that sort of a simple vibration motor that sort of works when you lock your device all right, so the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about is that now if your locks, uh, well, your, your phone is still locked and you're on the lock screen, so it's still locked, you know, that's the key word right here. Uh, before, you know, you just need to 3D touch on the notification and you would be able to reply uh, to that message. But now if you 3D touch, uh, it doesn't give you any option of replying if your lock screen is still locked. Alright guys, that's pretty much it from this video. So those were the key features of iOS 10 Beta 3. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time with a new beta, probably the beta 4. So that's it. Bye-bye.